Question 17 holds as follows. In the following diagram, AB is parallel to CD, and PQC is equal to 126 degrees, and PQ is equal to PR. Okay, so what you need to do is take time and start the diagram. Then after you've done that, then you can go to uh, the actual question, which is calculate the angle EPR. Okay, so what we need to do is, or oh, as you are studying your diagram, you should at the first identify the angle that you want to find. Okay, so the angle want to find, which is EPR, is that one which I've indicated by Prague. Okay, then the next thing we need to do is let's identify the shape which is in this diagram. We can see that there is a triangle there. So that is the triangle, the one I've shown you in blue. Then we have also, we have a triangle here. So we also need to identify um, what type of a triangle is that one. That is isosceles triangle. What properties do we know about isosceles triangle? So as you can see from the diagram itself, isosceles triangle has got two equal sides. And since it has got two equal sides, that means the base angles are also equal. So angle PQR is equal to angle PRQ. Okay, now let's go ahead and find angle EPR. So to find angle EPR, we're going to start from finding angle PQR. Okay, so what is the value of angle PQR? The value of angle PQR is, so to find the angle of angle PQR, we're going to use the, the property, which is angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. Therefore, angle PQC plus angle PQR is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, so what is the value of angle PQC? It is 126 degrees plus angle PQR, which is not known, is equal to 180. Okay, so what we do now here is we put like terms together. So we say angle QPR is equal to 180 degrees minus 126 degrees. Then when we evaluate, 180 and 126 we're going to get 54 degrees so the value of angle pqr is equal to 54 degrees okay the value of angle pqr is equal to 54 degrees okay now we go to the next angle so the next angle we're going to find is angle p r q angle p r q Okay, so the, to find angle P R Q, we are going to use the property which is base angles in isosceles triangle are equal. So that means angle P Q R is equal to angle P R Q. Therefore, angle P Q R is equal to 54, which is equal to 54 as the value of angle. PRQ. So angle PRQ is also 54 degrees. Okay. Now the next angle we are going to find is angle QPR. So what is the value of angle QPR? So the to find the value of angle QPR, we are going to use the property which is interior angles of triangle add up to 180 degrees. Regardless of the type of triangle, any triangle, the interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so what are we going to do? So we're going to come up with an expression which is QPR plus PQR plus PRQ. These are angles, so I'm saying angle. QPR plus angle PQR plus angle PRQ is equal to 180 degrees. So what we do now is we put uh, the values of angles of those which are known angles. So we know that we want to find the value of angle QPR, which is not given, plus 
angle the value of angle pqr which is 54 degrees plus the angle of prq which is 54 degrees as well is equal to 180 degrees so i'm going to evaluate 54 plus 54 therefore i'm going to write Q, angle QPR plus 108 is equal to 180 degrees. Thereafter, I'm going to put like terms together. Then it's going to be angle QPR is equal to 180 minus 108 degrees. Okay, so the difference of 180 degrees and 180 degrees is in so qpr will be equal to 72 because the difference of 180 degrees and 108 degrees is 72 so the value of qpr is 72 degrees okay so we go now to the final question now since we have found the value of qpr it is going to be possible now to find the value of epr so to find the value of angle epr we're going to use the property which is angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees therefore angle qpr plus angle epr is equal to 180 degrees so what is the value of angle qpr it's 72 degrees so we're going to write 72 degrees plus angle epr which is equal to 180 degrees then here we put like terms together so we have got angle epr is equal to 180 degrees minus 72 degrees so when we subtract 72 from 180 degrees what are we going to get so we're going to write epr is equal to 180 degrees minus 72 degrees will give us 108 degrees so the value of angle EPR is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, so basically that is the value of this. So as you can see, we have gone those uh, steps of identifying the, the angle, triangle, and also finding other angles so that we can find angle EPR. So that is the value of angle EPR, which is 180 degrees. Okay. So basically that's what we need to do. We go to the next question.